You know the, the entry road very well. It was originally 30 meters wide in the southern part, but from this point it becomes narrower, right? It becomes 8 meters wide. We don't see the full width right now, of course it's enough. But if you take a note, it had pavement or lining on the side of the road. This was to uh, water flow to come into the middle of the drain. And suddenly here, this curve is not existing. And what our archaeologists believe is that this was a piazza. This was a huge, like a, a, a like a, yeah. A plaza? A plaza. And there were stores on each side that people came and they were like to the top and then, you know, have a meal or do something. But so now we're only beginning to read, to discover the full extent of what this whole world is about. Everybody was as strict in observance as the other. 
and you know you have to eat. But how can you eat? Because he's not, this kashrus is not like my kashrus. But our rabbis had a tremendous vision in those days. The Amaaretz, who generally was not, he did not keep very well, and not well enough. The Tumoto Master, what is this the same way? Kosher, it's not kosher. Or also the Tumah Bechara, yes? He was not that observant of it. The Rabbi said, on the regel, everyone is a Chaver. A Chaver is the exalted status of those from people who were very observant, who were very particular about their observance. But the Rabbi said, on the regel, we all eat together. We're all one. There are no more but that's this, but that's that. Everyone eats the same. And they brought people together. And this is how it worked. And I don't know, if from this store, Trout, whoever bought the produce, by the way, there's a mikvah in one of them, so I don't know what he was selling, but all kinds of different things. And uh, people would be able to come and partake and eat and drink and be merry here as they came to drink. Um, and as we walk up, I will point out now to see to the left. You can see a uh, short you. Yeah, it was good. 
Pinchar, Dr. Nachshon Zento, archaeologist, claims one of the ideas, speculative, but it's an idea, that this is the Eben Hatoin, or Eben Hatoin, the place in Jerusalem where if you lost something, it was a lost and found. Whoever lost it, the the founder brought it here, and whoever lost it came, gave some money, and received his lost and found. I mean, I can imagine. I don't know if you guys last time you came to the hotel, but every couple of minutes, you got some uh, guy on the loudspeaker, whoever lost, uh, to come to the office, or a child, they probably put some pesky kids here, not, not you here, they're good. But if it was a pesky kid who got lost, they might have sat him down here waiting. That's one speculation. Okay. 